questions. Oral questions. Questions are <laughs> Honorable Andrew Shear. Any Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost, and Canadians are suffering through his inflation and high interest rates. For many families, the best hope for a summer vacation will, will be a modest road trip. Parents will sketch out a budget based on meals and hotels, and a big expense will be fuel. The GST, excise tax, and carbon tax have helped push fuel prices to near record levels, with many families unable to afford a vacation at all. Conservatives have proposed taking the tax off of gas and diesel for the summer, saving Canadians. 35 cents liter. Will the Prime Minister vote for our motion or will he force more Canadians to stay home this summer? The Honourable Minister for the Environment and Climate Change. Mr. Speaker, this is a prime cut of Conservative baloney. And I know what I'm talking about. My dad was a butcher, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> the Conservative Party of Canada claims for Albertans is based on people travelling 37 that fills the cringe cup for the day. Their holidays, Mr. Speaker, 37,000 kilometers. You can go from the North Pole to the South Pole and you would have kilometers left to achieve the savings that they claim, Mr. Speaker. The, hon the Honourable Member from Regina Capel. That's just not true, Mr. Speaker. And everybody knows that the carbon tax costs more than the rebate. That is why the Prime Minister was humiliated into granting a carve-out for just some people in some parts of the country. And that's all we're asking for today, a carve-out on federal taxes on fuel and diesel for the summer. For the average family in Ontario, that would mean almost $600 in savings. Now, to the Prime Minister and his wealthy friends, that might not seem like a lot of money. But to struggling Canadians, that could make the difference to be able to say yes to the kids when they ask for some summertime fun. So will the Prime Minister have an ounce of compassion and help more Canadian families afford a vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Honourable Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I know math is not the forte of the Conservative Party of Canada. Let me walk... <laughs> oh, yeah. The Albertans okay. would have to use 3,293 litres of gasoline over a three-month period, Mr. Mr. Speaker. At an average of 8.9 litres per 100 kilometres, that equivalent to 37,000 kilometers. You would have to drive for 10 consecutive days non-stop, Mr. Speaker. If you had two weeks vacation, you would have two days left, or maybe three, to enjoy your vacation. Order. Order. The budgets will balance themselves. Member from Regina Capel. I don't think math is the forte of someone who brags that he doesn't think about monetary policy and thinks that budgets balance themselves, Mr. Speaker. How did I know? The reason why the Prime Minister is being so cruel about this issue is because he's long forgotten the thrill of, of the family road trip. You see, he has wealthy lobbyists who invite him to their private islands where he doesn't have to pay for the villas and he gets to stick taxpayers with the bill. But Canadian workers have to pay for all the inflation, all the interest rates and all the tax hikes themselves. So will he have an ounce of compassion, take fuel taxes off for the summer so Canadians can have a road trip this year? I'm going to ask all honourable members please to not take the floor unless they're recognised by the speaker so that all members and to the public at home can listen and hear the question and also hear the answer. The Honourable Minister of Health. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I don't think Canadians' idea of summertime fun is being locked in a car for 10 straight days. Uh, I think their idea of summertime fun also isn't having their dental care taken away or taking away their diabetes medication or that their summertime fun is losing child care, Mr. Speaker. Their definition of summertime fun, I think maybe they should have a conversation with kids about what they want to do with their summer. I think they care more about getting dental care and having good teeth than being locked in a car for 10 straight days. Right. 